Everybody there? Performance last week. Did you sense it coming before the game? Did just how good it was? Oh, there's a real confidence that's been building in the group all, all season, and I think we took that in and it displayed in our you know our effort in the first quarter, which we were able to display throughout the rest of the game. But there's just real confidence throughout the group going into it. If that's what you're alluding to. The competitiveness early on though was amazing. Blokes like yourself, the way you put your bodies on the line, Valentine and that. Uh, is that the best it's been? Do you think? It's hard to sort of gauge, but yeah, we pride ourselves on that effort and. Being able to start well, obviously, in, a, in foreign territory is crucial because it takes the crowd out of it. So that was definitely a focus going in and just being able to sustain that effort was a big focus. So it's an important thing this week again to try and take the crowd out of it in the first quarter against Adelaide? Yeah, I think whenever you play away, you know, it's always a key focus going in. And uh, Adelaide obviously have had a great season. I don't think they've lost two in a row yet this season. So it's going to be a key focus right from the start to make sure we you know, bring our great effort and hopefully sustain it. Their last team to beat you. What do you take from that game specifically? Yeah, just the, the way they sort of ran and carried, and but also the defensive way they sort of shot us down and didn't allow us to play the game that we wanted to play. So we'll do our due diligence this week and see how Sydney sort of got them and, and go from there. Pressure obviously is really important in, the, in finals. Is it a matter of bringing the pressure that you had last week into this weekend's game? Yeah, so the game against Geelong just shows that we're capable, but it counts for nothing the next time we go out and play. So. The fact that we know we're capable of it, we'll, be, we'll, we'll use, and uh, hopefully we can just emulate it. A lot of people are suggesting that you've almost played your grand final against Geelong. Um, what did the players make of that? No, oh, that's that's silly. We've sort of moved on from from that already. You know, we kept the lid on it, and it's all about preparation now, and we'll take that into this week. How far do you think you can go in this series? Oh, it's, it's hard to predict. Um, you know, we're just focusing on this week, and it's Adelaide, and they're they're a big obstacle in the way. So we'll focus on them, put all our effort into. Taking them down first. You're good friends with Pav. I saw you at the end of the game speaking to him. Is it almost like you almost get in awe of the Pav, especially that game you played on the weekend? He, that was like one of the best. Yeah, oh, he's just a, a great captain and a great bloke as well. But yeah, he just stands up whenever we need him to, and that's exactly what we did. And you know, he's a very, very modest bloke, and he'll never take any of the credit, but he deserves a lot. Did you see that coming, a performance like that from him? Because that was like first class. Yeah, oh, no, I expect it from him every week, mate. He, he stands up and. Um, across the AFL, he doesn't get the credit he's due, so I'm just glad that everyone's sort of, you know, recognising him. Sorry about that today. Is he almost back to full fitness? Yeah, he's trucking along nicely, mate. He's really diligent with his preparation, and you know, he's just the, the epitome of being elite. So he'll make sure he ticks every box and some. Have you seen him doing more this week than what he has in the previous weeks? Uh, it's hard to say, mate. I've always seen him in the gym or out in the track. He's always doing something, so he's always got his plate full. What sort of week are you having as a group, Matt, with the, the shorter week, the shorter break? Yeah, well, obviously throughout the season we've sort of got our preparation down pat on six day turnarounds and we're not going to change anything. We're just going to, you know, keep big, big, big focus on preparation and recovery. Obviously six day break. I think we'll fly up tomorrow, which is pretty standard as well. So we'll just stick to our guns and hopefully it stands up. Pretty disciplined unit this year, obviously, with preparation and, and just in the way adjusted to across the game plan. The fact that you guys, a lot of you team have had to come through the hard yards, the hard way to get on trainables, has that been one of the reasons why you're having succeed with that? Oh, it's something that's sort of been spoken about, you know, as a team, but I guess individually the boys take a lot of where, where they've come from and, you know, into the way that we want to play and Ross demands a lot from each other, but we also demand a lot from each other in, on a daily basis, um, just within internally, just the team. So I think it's just something that we're, we're building and we'll continue to improve on. Just on your own season, how have you rated your performance? I think after round nine, it was a, a midfield move there. Yeah, also I had a little bit of bit of a go on the midfield and then five for kick me out, which is which is alright. No, I'm I'm just I'm just happy to be you know a part of a team that's continually improving and and going places. So I'm just happy to contribute any way I can. Do you pride yourself on being able to play a role that could be quite versatile? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I'm I'm happy to if the coach wants me to go play down back or in the midfield. I'm more than happy to you know try and fill any void I can. Prospect of having another crack at danger field this week. No, I'm not sure yet. I'll have to see what the coach thinks, but I'm pretty sure Fife can take him.